Yes, it's session seven. I can't Ooh. believe we're here. I cannot. Who? Oh, we get this far. Remembers what happened last time. <laughs> what, what are you? <laughs> Uh, just for uh, Cinder's benefit, he records it so that he can go back and listen to the session again and actually uh, remember what the hell went on. So it's not for the internet. I mean, um, it it will know. be eventually, but um, I just haven't got around to doing that. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. You've not even been professional enough to brief him on the fact that you recorded it, Callum. I did oh say it was recorded. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that. Hour, and then it goes on the... It's, my god. Anyway, Callum. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. My god of Sean. Yep. By Sean's God! <laughs> <laughs> what? <clears throat> what did he say? I feel like Bean should be God of Sean, because then he can be Sean Bean. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Sean Beans. <laughs> Sean Beans. I am shocked. <laughs> I am shocked. Right on. Quick sick. So yeah. Vic, don't break her. Back in the room. Who remembers well, uh, you and what well, happened like, last uh, time? We we started on a hill, uh, getting close to the uh, the town of Level Upton, also known as uh, Pampay Pampai. Pampai, yes. Uh, the town was on fire, though. We thought that was a bit odd, so we sent the kitty cat into the flames to see if we could figure out what was going on. Uh, kitty cat came back and said, "Yeah, it's all right. We can go in." So I went into town, tried to find the caravan spot. Uh, some little puny human was there, and shot himself when he saw us, and uh, our contact was not, nowhere to be found. Uh, myself and Emu decided to stay in the caravan whilst everybody else had a look around, tried to investigate what was going on in town, um, whilst we guarded the caravans and the, all the people in the caravans. Uh, we heard some suspicious sounds, so uh, left the guards of the caravans in charge. And went to join everybody in the center circle. Um, managed to get through the gate that was already open and caught up with everyone. Uh, and then it was smashing down, smashed down some buildings with the whole purpose of just stopping the fire from spreading. Uh, managed to put most of the fire out, and, uh, and then it was just a se like center building, like a town hall kind of thing. So uh, we walked in this, and there's a woman sitting in it, chanting and meditating or something and uh as soon as i stepped forward she just screamed and, and then like vanished um so that was a bit weird um fuck else yeah so we made our way back to the caravans uh to the edge of the city and I noticed at the edge of the city was this like illusionary sort of wall thing with a bunch of goblins and and that and, like hordes of goblins behind it and this one person standing there staring at us. Um, I saw that shadow dude again. He was in the illusion. Maybe there's some sort of connection there. But uh, eventually that 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 whole mirage or whatever went away. Um, and a bunch of the townsfolk people came out of their houses, appeared, and uh, seemed to have no recollection of the last three days. Uh, so yeah, now we need to sort of investigate that. I went along with Gorm uh, to see if there's anything that we could find out. Um, he started talking to this this fellow on the street, but this dude just freaked out. He just yeah went metal. He yeah. like collapsed onto the floor and then like just started like bleeding out of his face and he just like collapsed and died on the floor. Nothing we could have done. Shame. I thought it was a bit odd, but to be honest, he could have just died from the ship the fright of seeing me. Anyway, then uh, Dougley showed up and was just like, so you killed him? <laughs> yeah, that was so good. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's as much as all I can remember. My dog also went missing. Hmm. Oh yeah, Barker's, Barker's had a bit of a disappearing act. Um, I guess, what does Emu remember then? Um. Aside from uh, all that's been, I guess Emu um, deciding that if anyone call, decide, wants to call her Kitty Cat, she will attack them. <laughs> 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 My bad. 
Um, okay, so there was a slight mistaken aggression. So I thought um, Ibu was like interrogating this like nineteen-year-old kid. It turns out that he was a nine-year-old kid, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was like fourteen. Right? I thought I, I thought he was like twelve or fourteen. Um, I didn't actually write down his age, but it was thereabouts. Yeah, it wasn't. I, as young I think as I nine. still wanted it to be a lot closer to twenty <laughs> than to ten. <laughs> But that's fine. Yeah, only mild trauma. <laughs> mild, I see. <laughs> and, although I, I do feel uh, I, I may have to apologize in advance that um, I choose to give you um, an accent that I call European. <laughs> if, um, it may come as a bit of a strange one. Um, but yeah, uh, she also then ended up going to the less scabby seamstress, sort of looking for a fight, and ended up encountering um, a gnome who she was meant to meet somewhere else. But that's what happened. So what was that? Very good. Um, has anyone else got anything to add? Uh, no, I think that, that kind of covers it really. Um... Just Emu was the one that went into Scott ahead and come back, and then that's it. There's no more change beyond that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I would just say that there seems to be, um, like, or and maybe this is me misunderstanding, but some of the townsfolk seem to not be aware of the last three days. Some of the days <laughs> like, still trying to figure out. Yeah. yeah, and also the fog goblins. Let's not forget the fog the goblins. The fog goblins, yeah. Yeah, we had our Avengers moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The foglins? Mm -hmm. Yep. The foglins. <laughs> also, fog goblins would be a great title. For a band. Yeah. yeah. We are the, the fog, fog goblins. goblins. <laughs> For a song? No. For a creature, yes. <laughs> <laughs> For goblins! <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could probably make it work. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure Callum can make anything work as a song name. Yeah, that's true. Is it words? Yes, it is a song. Um... <laughs> it's like Rule 34. <laughs> <laughs> it exists it's as a song called it. Uh, do you know what? There probably is. Yeah. I guess that can be rule 50 something. Um, <laughs> so I guess we'll kind of just um, kind of fade back in there with um, Emu, like looking at that um, scene of uh, this gnome. I'll move you back to Pampai for now. There we go. Um, seeing that's that's where you are. Um, yeah, of um, the, the, the gnome punching this. Uh, kind of a buff human man and the buff human man kind of falls to the floor uh, and the gnome turns around to his sort of like um, team as it were you know that sort of coaching staff that are you know next to the ring uh, for well, I suppose for, for our newest guests benefit um, the, the ring was basically just four guys holding bits of rope together um, right. creating a little like sort of fight ring. There's, there's like no like flooring or anything. It's just the floor, and they've got some ropes. And it's kind of underneath this, this tavern. It's very ghetto. Very ghetto. Um, case that because I've seen that before in real life. Sure. What do you do in real life? <laughs> <laughs> is this is this something you can't talk about, or? Um. Are you part of the club? I can't talk about it, but I won't. Oh, okay. I choose not to. I choose not to. <laughs> not because I can't. Next just question, because... please. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, and then the, I suppose you know the the very small crowd that's there, like cheering. There's a couple who are just a bit miffed, um, and then the the sort of kind of booky type persons going around and either dishing out winnings or or not, um. And you know, two kind of. I, I was going to say official-looking people. There don't look official because none of this looks official. But 
as official as somebody could look in this situation. Um, you know, walk up to the gnome and I will give him a big what if, what of what monies. Um, and Emu, I guess you, you'd probably see uh, the, the the big human man being sort of dragged off. Uh, and this, uh, Sindri, do you want to like describe Peter in some sort of? Uh, can I do it in a picture, or do you want me to do it? <sighs> do it in words, and then I'll share. Uh, um... <laughs> that is a good idea. So, then we'll, then we'll share the sort of thing. See, it's this. Um, it's pretty not the biggest man you've ever seen. Probably around five foot something. So he's actually quite small, and he's literally just covered in everything. You, you can tell that this guy has probably been delving some dungeons, and he's just picked up pretty much whatever he could find. He's like. Um, really poor and whatever has like even like a copper worth of value he'd pick it up and try and sell it to someone so he's got a pretty big backpack and um, yeah he's got a long gray beard doesn't shave very often not at all to be fair and he's quite dirty and grimy but fits right in into this place really but it now he seems uh, quite concerned about this uh, unconscious human being that is being dragged towards him um, How yeah. old do you look if you have a long grey beard? Oh yeah, he's quite old. He's probably around 67, I'd say. I was going to ask, like, is he one of those people who gets grey young and just lives with it? Or... Uh, so, yeah, no, I, I'm no. seeing Radagast. Currently. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, Radagast is not a bad, uh, a bad impersonation. I have, yeah. That is a pretty good... I, I would agree. <laughs> What I shall do is I shall, um, or what I can do is I think I can do it like this. If I just share the screen. Uh, whoops, the daisies, that's not it. Hold the ball. You should never share another man's thingy. So it's it's true. This is true. Um, Ask for permission first, please. Yep. Ooh. That's, the, that's the art. Is that the, the one that we chose or is that not the art yeah, that we chose? The yeah, that's chose. That's fine. Um, Dismiss that. Cool. Uh, so yeah, this 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 guy gets sort of dragged towards this sort of um, I guess over overburdened with with um tat um looking gentle gen gentleman uh, in the corner and um yeah he's kind of just sort of dumped at at this this guy's feet um and uh you know maybe maybe a couple of like assistants kind of help him up into a sort of like um half chair stretcher bed thing. Um, kind of next to him. And uh, I, what, what, uh, what does Emu see? He sees uh, this guy going like touch his beard. Oh my god! Oh goodness! Um, let's see. What can I do? What can I do? Mutters a couple of magical words and waves his hands a little bit, and the guy comes back to life, looking very bloody still. But at least he is uh, no longer unconscious on the floor. He is now breathing, or he is. Uh, um, Conscious again, so. yeah. Um. So, um, you can probably tell that this guy hasn't seen a lot of blood, uh, as uh, he seems to be sort of like a eunuch. He's mostly by himself, but this is—I mean, if you're smart enough, you would see that this is probably some job he's literally just picked up for the day because he needed money, and he's out of money, and he doesn't have any money on him. Right Did you oh. use the word eunuch in that sentence? Yes, isn't that what it's called? I think that's what it's and called. When you said you could tell he's a eunuch, how? So, eunuchs have no penis. I think there may be a slight miscommunication. Oh, oh, really? Here. I mean, uh, oh, what's the people well, call that live Hermit. by themselves then? Hermit. 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 Cool. Hermit. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's <laughs> I was a bit confused there as well. <laughs> <laughs> if we're doing this in Norwegian, I'd be doing much better than all you guys by the way. This is true. I, I, I merely <laughs> wanted to clarify the information I was taking in that. Yeah, I'll be his translator that, wherever yeah, possible. That's good. That's good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like oh, the dude. idea that every time he talks to people, he says, Can you tell I'm a eunuch? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he doesn't know English. <laughs> Hermits <laughs> don't talk to a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Test that. 
um, also, both Alexander and me are playing females, so Emu is a girl. Okay. And so is Tilda. Ah, yes. That would have been probably good information to be. I don't know thought of it now. Yeah. In case you want to bang one on the get go. But no that's judging, you can bang one of us too. I'd prefer it. If, anyway. Um, <laughs> stop pimping out this <laughs> The party. <laughs> it's like, ah. Uh... Oh, man. Oh, we have, we found a new hermit. Let's, let's just share him around. <laughs> um, no, okay. Um, Do you have a permit for that? <laughs> <laughs> a hermit permit. <laughs> so, yeah, um. I guess, uh, Peter, you'd you'd probably see um, once you've kind of done that, you see um, who you know as Max Power, um, nod and wave over at you. Uh, Emu, you probably see this as well. I'll walk up to him, probably, yeah. and I'll go and uh, probably can't hear this conversation, so. But they seem to be arguing or haggling or something along those lines. Or you would guess money, probably. Yeah. Um, would would they see some gold be shared? Question mark. Mister God. Uh, uh, no, I feel like we decided that you weren't getting gold. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> um. So always yeah. Try, always try. The, yeah. Always try. Always try. The gnome pulls out from Unique, his bag. Sorry. I don't know. Either or. <laughs> Both, maybe. You uh, the gnome, uh, yeah, he pulls out from his bag this golden shawm. And if, uh, I, don't, I don't know if everyone knows what a shawm is. I didn't. Um, until recently. Um, but it's basically like a horn flute type thing. Uh, like a medieval um, thing. I think it predated pre like the oboe or something. It's like a double reeded instrument. Um, so it's like a, a medieval oboe, for lack of a better thing. It's made made of gold, and he kind of like holds it up to you, and then he, um, I guess, holds his hand out, uh, and you know, I guess maybe Emu might might if if Emu's like watching this, which I assume she might be, Emu. Maybe in the in the corner, Emu would quite like to walk over to the guy that just got sort of. Revived. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah. Uh, well, what we'll do then, if we if we go into that, if we kind of thingy, you you kind of walk up to the 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 guy who's who's kind of he's kind of still sitting in the sort of stretcher chair combo thing, um, kind of like an adjustable, a very crude adjustable um chair, like with really you know. It's kind of like a wooden, like, flat piece of wood that, you know, you can bend up into a chair position and back down to a flat thingy for this. And he's kind of just sitting on there trying to catch his breath and stuff as you kind of maybe head over. Are you are you wanting to, to say anything? Or do anything? Uh, so you would probably uh, sort of walk up to him and then just, like, pat him with my um, quarterstaff and just say, uh, so it seemed like... Quite a bit. Are you ready for another round? Um, I think I think at that, like on like tapping, like his uh, patting him on the shoulder. You said, um, uh, I think at that, uh, the the sort of like, quote unquote, his his handler, um, if it were, comes up and kind of tries to push you away, going, <clears throat> "Oi, leave my boy alone." This is a uh, He's, he's he's a bit banged up just now. We'll patch him up. Look, if you if you're wanting if you're wanting to to, to fight him, you're gonna have to wait. Just, you just give... think that your prize fighter cannot even go a few rounds with me? It is okay. I understand. I'm sure he's pretty uh, terrible in a place like this. I'm not expecting high quality fighters. I think at that he's he's enraged. <laughs> Um, and you see his eyes, like, go, like, properly wide as he, like, just looks at you and stares at you and goes, GAMEKEEPER! Um, and the guy comes over and he goes, Sign us up for, for a fight with this! And he kind of looks you up and down and says, 
Damsel Emu. Emu Axel. Um, and the guy, like, sp scribbles that down and he goes, Next fight in 15 cycles. There we go. We work in cycles in this, this universe. Why is he complicated? Why? <laughs> I love it. I'm a professional. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, cycles. Um, yeah, which is, you know, essentially the same as minutes. How many moons does this planet have? <laughs> How many moons? Yeah. Um, many moons. There know. is... There are at least two observable moons. Okay. From the naked eye. Well, let me write that down. What about the dressed eye? Yeah, I was going to say, my eyes are well dressed. How dare you? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. See what I, I have to I, put up with? I, I, I didn't <laughs> I'd do it to myself. I answer the moon's question. That was just because of the winds taking. <laughs> How does like? that affect the tides? How do the um, tides work? Why is there uh, two suns? Uh, I'll, t I'll tell you what. Um, the tides don't work. There are no tides. Um, Perfect. Let me write that down as well. No tide. Two moons, <laughs> at least. At least two moons and no tides. Um. Uh, so yeah, you've kind of got like um. I guess essentially fifteen minutes to to kind of prep yourself, um, for this fight that you're going to have. What? Yeah, I would does... just quickly um just catch him and say, um, bare knuckle, I presume. Uh, I think you just get like a, a nod from all the parties involved. Okay, no, I just sort of limber up a bit and get ready. Yeah, cool. So while that's going on, I think maybe at, at that point, maybe you're you're kind of just you know getting ready, and maybe maybe your your eye catches, um, the the image of this 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 gnome talking to this other human, um, and he's holding this uh, shawm. Shaw might to you, and he's he's like putting his his hand out as if expecting something from uh, our our new resident uh, Peter. And um, you'll see Peter hand out this, this, uh, what looks like a box, a wood box. No, no, I, I for <laughs> one am shocked. <laughs> really? I had the box all along. <laughs> Are you really? No, and I don't have a gift for this because there's a gift I've got in my head. So. <laughs> <laughs> Just saw this coming, and um, yeah, uh, and I think like as the as like the gnome's hands sort of grip, like grab onto the box, and he's just about to hand over the the shawm. This uh, portal appears behind uh, our little gnome friend and an arm comes out and just grabs him in and the portal vanishes straight away. The gnome? Could and Peter the try and grab the golden instrument before you... Yeah, by all means. Uh, can you give me a like an agility type thing, please? Toll of the Dead. Agility. <laughs> Toll of the Dead. Toll Oh, yes, give me toll of so... the dead, please. Um, oh, right, okay. Um, so to do that, just click on the actual skill on your character sheet and it'll just pop it yeah, into this. Which one? Agility's not a thing. Yeah. Oh, is agility not a thing? Sorry. <laughs> wrong, uh, <laughs> wrong system. <laughs> oh, wrong for, I do apologize. I am very, very <laughs> sorry. Um... Is this the hazing? Is he going to be asked to, to, to find his long stand in a minute? <laughs> yes. Maybe what, acrobatics then, perhaps? Acrobatics? I'm, not sure. <laughs> not very interested. I'm looking, for, like looking for a dex. dexy thing. Or a dex. Uh, would, it a dex save? would it be a dex save? Thank you, Ryan. Uh, a, a dex save, please. A straight dex. A dex save. Yeah, so in the saving throws box above that, yeah, just hit dexterity. Okay. Oh. <laughs> um, you had a plus four to that boy. Yes, oh. I had a plus four to that boy. So that is uh, indeed a natural one. <laughs> that is, yeah. Um, 
No, not. not only that, as you as you kind of um. I just read the surname. I think you actually do. You grab onto the shawm, right? And as the as the gnome gets pulled into the portal, and as the portal closes, it closes on half the shawm. Um, and it just snaps, uh, and you're left with this like maybe two inch little um stump of uh, double reeded pipe. Is it solid gold or is it like fake plated gold? Oh no, it's like it's it's basically like crappy metal painted gold. Ah, oh. so he tried to. Um. So yeah, I, I assume I assume Emu like witnesses all of this. Would Would Emu have been able to um, perceive anything about the arm? Uh, yes, by giving a perceiving action check. You make it so easy for people that aren't in the fifth edition. I do apologize. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's going well. <laughs> Alim came Megan through rolls. wibbly wobbly thing and pulled in thingy thing with box half golden thing and yeah. <laughs> he moves too busy punching herself to set herself yeah. up for the fight. But I guess me, Gorm and Peter are not going to start a folk band. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I, I guess, uh, I think at that, maybe we, maybe we hear, like, a bell and, like, the, the fight's getting ready to start and, um, this pretty yeah. banged up human kind of takes a step forward. And, uh, I mean, if you'd passed your perception, I would have probably said, um, you'd have noticed that nobody noticed the, the disappearance of this gnome. Um, but you didn't. So you um, didn't notice that nobody noticed. Didn't notice that nobody noticed that this gnome disappeared. But you noticed the gnome disappear. Um, I on think a, on a scale of one to twenty, what does this guy that I'm about to fight look like in terms of skill? <laughs> on a scale of one to twenty, with one being the lowest and twenty being the highest. Um, yes. Probably in his oh, current dear. state, maybe a a solid six. Oh dear. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, he looks like he was, he's, he's like a, a, not a veteran, but a, a well-seasoned, um, fight clubber. Um, everyone else, uh, being Tilda, uh, Gorm, Digdogleo, and Ovik. <clears throat> I think we, You're we ended, uh, I believe you were, um, so. surrounding this, this murder scene. <clears throat> uh, you mean this accident? This this accident. As far um, as I'm aware. <laughs> yes. This unfortunate event. Um, I think you see at the other end of the sort of alley. This um portal appear with a hooded, um like a red robed hooded figure, jumping out, carrying this unconscious gnome, um. In like under one arm. Okay. Uh, a scale of one to six, how sexy are the robes? Oh, <laughs> they look uh silky smooth as a fl something. Are they figure wow. hugging? Sure. Or are they No, baggy? they're quite quite baggy. Okay. From so from where you're standing anyway. Uh, here we are. Um, okay. uh, no, it might be important. <laughs> Uh, and can we tell anything about the person in? I know, I know, Mangi, I know. Can we tell anything <laughs> about the uh, the person in the robes? In the robes. Like, uh, do yes. you want to give a perception check? I, can I, I do. Yeah, because I, I can't wait to roll a one. Um, yeah, can Mangi help me by holding my eyelids open? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> can he? I don't think he can. I can project what I see into his mind. To help him. <laughs> it's not terrible like I normally roll with perception checks. That's, that's yeah, it's pretty good. Hey. Um, 
Yeah, maybe from the maybe from the the, the arms and um, from the hands, you know, protruding from it, you see that it's a it's a very very skinny um being uh, with it's more more um clawed hands than uh, the name. So it's going to be in clawed hands. Can I tell the race? Right. Um, I say uh, clawed hands is the wrong wrong wording, but they've got like long. Or is that his name? Sorry. Clawed hands. Yeah. Clawed um, hands. Yes. <laughs> I meant like the the they've got like hands, but the end of like their fingernails are kind of clawed like. Yeah, but uh, that doesn't make them human. Default. No. Does yeah. It? So they're not human. They are. Okay. Um, they're not human. But. Oh, uh, it's what what it what it looks like to you is if somebody took a goblin right mm -hmm. and stretched them to like reasonably tall and skinny. Are we talking like hob levels of height? P possibly, possibly. Okay. Okay. Or um, so... fog levels of height. Um, fog Again, levels English, of height. please. Yes. Uh, well, yes. Hob goblins is where I was going with this, but yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, I, I I guess that um and you you see it um sort of bend down pick up like a like a, a person hole cover. So I don't know what race it is. A like person hole cover. They, they just look like a tall <laughs> goblin. They, yeah. Um, okay. I'll give you that. Um and they they jump down. A non-binary hole cover. A non-binary hole cover, closing the non-binary hole cover. Above Those them. are important, by the way. Just FYI. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know who this gnome is or no. what even race the red robed baggy person is. So, I mean, yeah. A gnome being taken away is pretty suspicious, though. Is it, though? And in a, I suppose in a, in a place life. that is literally everyone you have seen is just human. I think Except we knew the that there's only two gnomes in the in the area. One is in the other town. Yes. We're looking for a gnome. Yeah. Yeah, but that one's taken. We have to take our own gnome. I feel like seeing anyone like have a whole person under their arm unconscious, no matter who they were, and the fact that they're cloaked. It's very suspicious. Like if you saw a, a, I am a yolk with a in hoodie a similar up way and a person underneath near their a arm, dead body. Yeah. All of that is very suspicious. I very suspicious. Anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, so you've you've kind you're kind of kind of standing there. There's this dead uh, human lying in front of you. I think blood's kind of still pouring out. Um, that scene's just unfolded in unfolded in front of you. Um, the four of you just kind of standing there. Um, Did the body have keys on it? Sure. Cool. Fortunate. Do you want? Do you want? Uh, you you can take the keys if you like off this, but you can search the body if you want. Go I through just, all I this. Wanna, I want to point to the keys to obviously like Gorm and Dixie and Ovik who were here before me. I look because you happen to see which building they left. I'm afraid uh, he was in the middle of the street when I came across this unfortunate fellow. I think that before too much time passes, Olvek would be very interested in the guy that jumped down the non-binary hole. And would like to head towards it. Okay, do you say anything about that, or do you just start walking? I say, Goblin. Or whatever it's called. <laughs> Not Goblin. Um... Gnome. Gnome. Yeah. It's okay, I'll fix it. What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um Because trying to get to the fucking guy that's meant to be paying us and all he knows about that man is he's a gnome. I mean yeah. to to not not to derail us, um but going back to a certain Monday game when all <laughs> someone has to go on is that someone is blonde. Mm -hmm. uh, and goes to the first blonde person. <laughs> <laughs> Things didn't go well. That like this should happen. Yeah, yeah. like I feel like Even this the, is all. This makes sense for all of it. It does make sense for all of it. Yeah. 
Yeah, um, I still like gesture to these keys as Olvik I'd be about to head off um, and I say you might want to take them the Can I go into them? of a building here may be beneficial to us later Yes, uh, yeah. if no one else wants to pick them up or we'll just wank yeah. yeah, I don't want to be connected to this body more than I already have been Yeah, so um, that is fair We uh, walk yeah. into the building as like a wife and children <laughs> Kill them too. They've seen. Daddy, <laughs> Daddy, have you brought oh, home my birthday Gorm. presents? Gorm, <laughs> can you take a good look at this man? You may need to become him later. Ah, ah, what a solid thought! What a solid thought. Yes. And I yeah. do that. You take a mental photograph. Yeah, excellent. Um, perfect. Do you want to? Uh, <laughs> I guess no. Maybe you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, do you want to to roll like um? I was gonna say maybe maybe. I'm trying to think like investigation or perception for like how well you sort of memorize. Is there like a memorizing face thingy? There's not. They're pretty happy with their magic <laughs> the way it is. I think investigation would make I sense. I feel like investigation like makes sense that. because it's a specific thing. Um, in my head. I feel like I can just test it out, though. Like, if I memorize him, then test it out and realize I've got it wrong. And then just try again. Do you so know the what? The spell it's based on comes with a, a way to, like, get through it. So it's not so much that he has to practice being good at it, it's just that it's his level of magic easy or hard to see through. Right, okay, that makes sense. But okay, There's the part that's important. Okay, no, that's fine. Yeah, no, nope, so, that makes sense. Yeah. Apologies. We shall move on. <laughs> so unless they're magically obscured somehow, so unless this man's magically obscured, we should hopefully be okay. Um, uh, I'll I'll give you a, I'll give you a little spoiler into my, my little GM world. Yeah, he's not magically obscured. <laughs> he is shot. very common and very dead. Um, wow. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um. So like... yeah. No, no, carry on. No, no. Yeah. I, okay. I was literally just going to make a stupid joke. I'm not going to make that. Stupid joke. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, you may as I'll well. I'll save myself for later. <laughs> um, while Gorm's practicing that, and all Vex obviously men mentioned about this, so like, I seen Emu head into a different building back there. I feel like us splitting up further is a bad idea. I will go and collect her. I can assume you will remain nearby and she just looks puzzled when she says that because i mean don't be here but don't be hidden you know don't hang around the body um i think gorm looks at the body and highly agrees <laughs> should i put the body in my afro <laughs> <laughs> The afro of holding. The alf afro of holding. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you. you yes, Actually, but it'll you be like. His... Down the sewer. There you go. That would be so much simpler because we're going that way anyway. Yeah, I think that, that's a good. Place like, right. Okay. It's so bad. God, we're such awful people. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I'm gonna go look for you. That's where I'm gonna. Do. Yeah, that's fine. To try and like collate our I'm group again. Before we go wandering into a fucking sewer of portals. <laughs> a portal <laughs> sewer. Um, Take dog Leo. Could, you want to give me a hand chucking this down the sewer? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the uh, the body gets stuck halfway down the hole, so I'm <laughs> going to kick it a few times just to make sure it gets down there. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> is there a is there is there a moral skill that you can roll? <laughs> Um, <laughs> I mean, my, my role morality <laughs> questionable. Just take alignment damage. <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> you are now evil. Um, oh dear. Oh god. It's like that bar in Red Dead Redemption just got like one step further to the left. So you're. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh god. Okay, it's like a mass idea. effect when you've got the blue choice or the red choice. Okay. <laughs> Why not both? Exactly, why not? It's, it's like in Matrix when you get the red pill or the blue pill. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll, 
what we'll do is we'll, we'll jump back to Emu. You're kind of standing in the ring now. Getting ready you had to... Your long stand. You had your long stand. Um, Peter looking at this battle, does this seem unfairly matched in any way, shape, or form? Um, If the the big guy Just was... Um, purely looking at size. Purely looking at size. Emu, Emu do you want to answer size, that? Size and, and muscle. About, like, probably less than 60 kilos. Oh, okay. And there's only, like, 20-odd, 20, probably, like, between 20 and 30 is kind of hard to tell. And then Calm can describe the other guy. Um, so he's about, uh, he's probably about 6'4", um, quite broad-shouldered. Um, he's not, he's, he's not like, um, he's not like ripped, um, but he's, he's got that kind of, you know, sort of flabby muscle look, as in he looks like he's built for pure strength, um, oh, not uh, for being a poster boy. I, I see. Yeah. Um. Uh, would I know from working here a while, how is magic looked down upon? Like, if you use magic to interfere in this fight, is that, like, a punishable offense? Uh, I think it. I think it is like the any sort of um, if you're caught doing magic uh, things during a fight, um, mm -hmm. you get into uh, quite a bit of bother. Deep shit. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So right. it's slightly meta question. Um, is key to them magic? Because I always thought key was sort of a, a personal thing. It wasn't really like you know, you're invoking. It's just sort of a skill that you have. So, so would that register to? Um, uh, I shall tell you in a second. Uh, no, it doesn't count as magic. <laughs> I saw the one out. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> okay, thanks. There you go. Um. So yeah, I guess this 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 burly gentleman kind of stands up tall. Um, there's there's still blood kind of pissing out the the top of his head quite a bit, um, but he's um, definitely not showing any signs of that being an issue for him. And I'm I'm trying to decide what's best. I don't know if I want to just uh, make you do like a a contested like roll or to actually do like a turn order and fight <laughs> fisticuffs. Um, Wait, is this the same guy that got knocked down, like, yeah. a second ago? Oh. Oh god. Uh, 15 oh, cycles I thought... ago. I was gonna say, yeah, I thought it was the gnome that got knocked down, sorry. It wasn't the same no, guy. it was not the gnome. No, the man. The gnome was doing the knocker. Ah, a gnome knocker, you say? He's a gnome knocker. My. Gnome <clears throat> knocker. Um. What do what what do, what do you think? What what what's what probably the best way to to resolve this? There's a lot of use that could be in this chat. Just so should um, I am I'm asking for help from anybody. That would be nice. Any, any takers. Just roll just roll initiative and do attack rolls. Why not? Yeah, it's just cool. the same as doing skill rolls really if it's between two, right? Sure. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I I I can help. I'm a strong boy. Um, you're kicking you, a guy you, in a sewer. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, um, do you wanna do you wanna click your token and and roll initiative? Initiative. These rolls today. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, I'm wasted by good rolls. How does that work actually? Turn order. How do you do that? You click on your token and then you click the initiative uh, in your character sheet. I don't think my token is on the board. Ah, so yeah, you don't need to be drag. Um, may as well show him this just now while we're here, yeah. though. Click yeah. and drag your character name from the journal tab onto the page. Does that make sense? Yeah, we uh, go. Yeah. There we go. Oh, there you go. I, I think I, yeah, I did it. And then if you click yourself and then roll initiative on your character sheet with the token selected, it'll add you onto the order. Oh, okay. But I'm not in this order, so it doesn't matter, does it? Correct. I mean, I could try and... No, I'll do that later, in case. Oh, sorry. 
Okay. Oops, it is this. Uh, He's just making a character sheet for this dude now. Shush. 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 He'll do. Shush. So what Shush. are the numbers above my character token? The 15 or uh, Health and oh, AC. Health. Ah. Yes. And the blue one is? AC. The green one Armor. is AC. Oh. For you? Interesting. I think. Maybe Have you got I'm... three numbers? Yeah. Or I haven't got three numbers. There's one empty blue square. Ah, oh, then the empty blue square is nothing then. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. It's just not assigned. I, got you. I just realized how low my AC was. That's uh, pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. You get used to it. Do you want, like, I'm in the low AC club. It's fine. Like, yeah, it's, it's okay. Well, I, I start... feel like I'm in the reasonable AC club. That's because you get to add your you get to add your wisdom and your dexterity, so you don't get to speak. Not help me yet. <laughs> yeah, I have crazy AC, and I've still been hit by every fucking attack that's gone at me. <laughs> yes, that is. Some true. of us started this game with seven health. Okay. True. <laughs> seven. <laughs> I need it. It's mine. <laughs> I earned that health. You did. Uh, do we do average okay. rolls for health, by the way? Uh, you can choose, right? You can choose. Your choice. Um, I, I was bad. Just would... my I just yes. did it because I felt like I, I was going to be late, so I was just, ah, fuck it, I'm going to average. Yeah, I'm gonna average. Do it next time. Um, yeah. Does does a one hit you, Emu? I I think it it's a miss. Yeah. Uh, I think the the strong guy kind of like comes up to you and just he's like super cockly and just kind of like brings his fist back like super slowly. In that sort of ridiculous anime, like charging up his punch, going, Aah! and then as he kind of like just swings, his eyes are closed, and he's got this big grin in his face, and he, he's like his fist just like, like you feel like the air of his fist like going past you, and his fist slams into the ground, and um, you hear like the cracking of bones and um knuckles and stuff as as he stands up and then cries out in pain. It's not like downed or anything. Um he's probably like kneeling, like cradling his hand. So mechanically we can say he's probably like prone ish. That's probably a really important definition for uh, prone <laughs> emu then. Yes. Liter oh, um, narratively prone-ish, mechanically prone. There you go. Okay, well then I, I think I will probably just make a regular um, unarmed attack. Um, mm -hmm. But if he's... does that mean I get advantage? Yep. Yep. Yes. Yeah, you hit the burly man. Ouch. Um, do you want to kind of like describe that? Um, so I feel like it's one, one movement. Like he misses and punches the floor, and as he's going past, um, I just right hook, um, straight into his his face. Uh, okay, he looks. I think yeah, as as you do that, like he he just kind of like sort of crumples into the floor a little bit, um, and he kind of um tries to to like make it look like he's just shrugging off the pain, but he's like in a serious amount of pain, um, on on a scale of uh, if if um if bloodied was a thing, <laughs> if I'm talking about different systems now, um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, he's dead. Yep. yep, he's definitely definitely not happy. Anyway, <laughs> that's the same. Um... Well, I'd like to make um, a follow up on our strike. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You. I, I, I mean, it misses. Um, no. <laughs> he's got inverse AC. <laughs> he's got him. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, how, how, man, that's a good fight. Well done. Um, so yeah, how do you, 
Is this going so to presume... be... Yeah, yeah, you definitely win the fight anyway. Do you want to describe this final finishing blow? So as I've just um, got him with the, the right hook, and then as he's, like, I presume he's like, face down, kind of, just with my, my left um, elbow, just him bring it down into the, the back of his head. Okay, cool. Like, donkey punch me out. <laughs> um, and he just, like, as soon as, like, that final blow kind of connects, um, you kind of hear the, the last, like, bit of air being pushed out from his lungs, and he just kind of lies motionless in the middle of the floor. I, mean, I definitely don't want to kill him. I just no, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I assumed you didn't want to kill him, but he definitely lies motionless at the, at the on the floor. So he deals non-lethal damage with his final blow. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. She, sorry. She. She, yeah. Um, I think occasionally there's, like, a, a like an arm twitch. And then the... Obviously, there's the there's the scene that was happened previous where there's an exchange of money, um, or the amount of people who actually betted on you is you know none, um, <clears throat> so everybody lost. Everyone yeah, lost totally out. Bet, bet on you, don't worry. You know, I, I'd have had your back there. I'd have been so rich. <laughs> Do you know what you would have been? Mm-hmm. Okay. Then I probably just like, um, just like yeah, you know, like nonchalantly like crack my neck a little bit and just, like, relax a little just taking in the room as, as you see, I assume everyone's pretty much like incredulously looking up mm. you've definitely got like you know as you kind of like look over at people like they kind of look away as if you know they were trying to hide the fact that they are kind of giving you a weird look um uh, there's probably some like mutterings of going. What? What is she? Who is she? What? 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 Um. So yeah, Peter, you kind of see this, this, this. Um. I was going to say exchange of blows, but really, series <laughs> of blows. Um, a miss. A swing and a miss. <clears throat> yeah, I'll just. Uh, uh, again, really, F- fifteen minutes, and you're all. In. Okay, whatever. I'll go over, wander over, and whatever. And he's slowly sitting back up, and I'll tell him, um, not gonna lie, you kind of embarrassed yourself here, so uh, maybe take take a break so I don't have to, you know, yeah, maybe, yeah, I don't know, I, I don't know, maybe not, uh, yeah. <laughs> so you're a bit new, but you're a bit new, but. <laughs> Um, I think he just looks really dazed and his handler comes up and he he actually kind of, I think he probably takes out some of his frustration on you, Peter. And yeah, yeah, I would imagine. And he's like, um, oh, clearly didn't patch my boy up good enough. Oh, oh no, I can't, can't, be, can't be having this. Oh, this is, this is ridiculous. And then he like goes up to like the, I was going to say official person again, but yeah, we're, that's what they're being called just now. And it's kind of shouting, um, at him, you know, of like how it was unfair, rigged fight, and whatever, blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so no physical frustration then, because I'll no, he does not. He does not like, like punch in the face. Um, like, oh, as as dingy as this place is, um, it is like fighting without the actual like ring part and pe- the people the chance to actually make money is um, frowned upon. Ah, so no bar brawls then. Yeah, I know someone who will change that. Uh, I really don't know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> uh, I think oh, Tilda. <laughs> That's me. That is you. Um, I think I think you definitely saw the direction that um Emu went in before you ran off to the 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 non crime scene. Yep, I feel like yeah. that that definitely did happen that last definitely time. Did happen, I went yeah. to follow Emu anyway, and then there was the scream, and I'm like, oh, damn, I wouldn't like yeah. screaming. So I think Go maybe maybe you um you kind of like you maybe saw like Emu like you got as far as um maybe seeing like the the rough direction where Emu Emu went like standing outside a building, kind of looking at it before uh, the scream happened, and then you went off um and that that building 
uh, as you kind of like approach to that point is um roughly near the scabby seamstress um I mean, are there people outside of the scabby seamstress? Is there music coming from it? Yeah, it there's live, um, or like a bar. You know, it's, like it's, like well, there's not really music, but there's like a few people standing outside with like you know mm -hmm. um, tankards and stuff standing outside. You know, got a bit drunk, yeah, the smoking area. on their yeah. smoking on their yeah. pipes, and <laughs> um, some of them are looking you know a bit bit beat and um, a bit worn out and uh, some a bit bit dingy and dirty looking. You know, you know the kind. I do. Um, and I think it's probably the only place where there are people. I think this is probably the, the bit of like town where if you're living in this area, you're probably not out very long unless you're at the the sort of local watering hole. Yeah. 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 So like, I, I guess mean, it wouldn't be too... too um... I mean, nowhere else seems somewhere Emu would go. No. Right? Unless you think Emu would like to break into people's houses a lot. That's... I'm learning a lot about emu as time goes on, <laughs> so that is possibly something still to learn. Um, but yes, uh, I will continue the look and the hunt for emu. That is my plan. So if that involves entering this tavern, I shall indeed enter this tavern. By all means, uh, you go in. There's a few people sat around. There's the bartender and there's. Um, the the only real like places is there's the obvious um kind of archway which goes to like the cellar um for uh, like behind the bar where the you know all the the beer and stuffs kept and um, the only other door is the door that Emu went down and um, metal eyes yeah but I've had enough of that so that's fine unless I go back and like watch the clips yeah um, Tell doesn't have a YouTube account so that's fine uh, um. Yeah. I'll do the polite smiling and nodding and whatnot as a, a head and pass people and like you know. I, th I think you, know, you definitely that. get a few head turns and stuff, you know. Um, and do that thing where you gently, like you know, like almost like lightly touch someone's shoulders if to move past them and things like that to make mm. all the contact I want to make. Um, just to be as non-threatening and polite and like water sliding through stones, you know, yeah. as possible. And uh, as I do that in the head inside, I'll put my hood down. I am um, as well. So I probably give off a very monk look given that I'm yeah. old. Yeah. You know? I am um, as well. And the kind of robes that she wears. Uh, and I'll head up to the bar. Yes. The bartender kind of looks you up and down. I suppose uh, I, I think you said um, Tilda has like sort of her, her skin's quite flawless, isn't it? I she on, like her face and her neck and stuff, yeah. But see, like on the back of her head, she's got like a couple of long scars that curve round. Okay, um, yeah, yeah. So those are on the back of her like head. Um, oh, okay, that's fine. Um, so I guess I guess maybe from the front, the bartender kind of and her elf ears, of course. Yes, gives you a very quizzical look. Um, very sort of intrigued, not knowing whether or not maybe kind of gauging whether or not you're going to be a pain in his ass or if you're um maybe more wealthy than his usual clientele. I mean, I think I'll just stare at him while he's looking me up and down, and I'll have those kind of like big, eager, anticipating eyes, but at the same time I'll just smile and slightly move from like left to right as if, oh, I can't wait till you say hello, you know, but without saying anything yet, I'll just be yeah. polite and wait for him to stop clearly eyeing me up. Yeah, I think I think it, like a short moment passes, um, uh, and he, he just kind of... Um, you know, do the classic thing of picking up a, a, a dirty glass and using a little cloth to mm -hmm. to clean it out and just um, looks at you and goes, what can I do for you? And just the smile widens again. Just, Hello there. If I could inquire as to your selection of teas and have you seen my my companion, my travel companion, I get ever so... And like my hands start to like do like fluttery kind of motions. It's like my hand, I get very um, anxious without my travel companion. And then like I start to like bite a nail in my mouth and stuff, and I just stare at him. Um, I think he kind of nods along with you with every word that you say. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when you mention tea, he looks a little confused for a second, 
Um, and then he he just kind of grunts and nods and goes, hmm. And Nixon's at the back and um, calls someone's calls for someone and they come down with like a like hot water and stuff and starts making up teas I'll for describe you. Emu as best I can as well. Yeah. I am... Yeah. I won't use Emu's name obviously, but I'll just describe her. Yeah. Um and I, I think he like as as you're describing he like, you know, does that thing where he looks up into like the corner of his his head. Um mm-hmm. and he he would um and then like maybe there's like a couple of descriptions where he goes, Ah and he would lean in and be like, Your friend a fighting friend. <clears throat> I think I would lean in. And did I get anything to drink, or is it just uh, the tea's like just like being made, it's, and it's just like bog standard tea. There's they only have one kind of tea. That's uh, fine. And like I think uh, like as as you lean in, maybe the tea, um, you don't even get like a pot. You get like it just in a cup, just yeah. like handed to you. I like kind of like pick up the tea and then just like sip it, staring at him, and lean in with him, and I'll say, she might be, if. I were allowed to talk about such things. I think he would. Um, he would kind of sniff and go, mm. and he would, uh, you know, motion towards the door. Uh, and I think he would maybe if the tea was kind of placed next to you, he would move the tea over to you, and um, just nod at you and go, "On the house." I and think then... at this point, her polite facade is completely masking the utter panic. That's like. This stranger has just described my friend as a fighting friend, and I don't know where Emu is, so now I'm worried that you might be in trouble. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's the politeness is now just, I will go to this trap door, sure. That Can I just totally say that the last time um, Tilda saw Emu, she was like storming towards the, um, like, off. Like, if it was a cartoon, there would be thunderbolts, mm-hmm. like, above her head in, like, a storm. Oh. Mm-hmm. So that's just the sort of um, the feel you're getting from her. It's why time. I wanted to follow you, though, because of that description. But then there was a scream off in the distance. And I'm like, <laughs> we were here to save people, right? Insofar as we're not monsters. But now I'm really debating that description. <laughs> Harsh cut to a Digsy jumping up and down on his body to get <laughs> just to refusing to go down well, this 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 sort of drift. It's just horrific, and then it cuts back to Tilda's panic in her face that is masked by the politeness. And it's like, thank you. Um, and then I think I'll give him money regardless, because yeah, um, yeah. I think I'll give him, I'll give him a gold, right, a full gold, and I'll, I'll like. Hand that over to him, and I'll say, "This is for the warm welcome." And just like smile politely. Yeah, I think he he like slightly bows and says, "Any time." And then I'll head towards the indicated die region. Yes. Um. Uh. Before we do that, uh, I guess um, murder crew. Um. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You've probably got the the uh, the 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 guy down the down the sort we of like service. Take hatch. a step back, um, because obviously I, I think I would have got to the the manhole cover first, um, and opened it. As I looked down, would I see which direction the figure went? Um, from what you can tell, like it, it's quite hard to see, but it looks like it only goes one direction. So, like maybe that's where, okay. like the, the maybe the end or the start of the. The sort sure. of sewage system and I'm or whatever. The, at that point, as I just look in, these two come with a body and chuck it in. Past my yeah, maybe they just kind of brush past your mountains. And um... does it start <laughs> floating down the sewer? No, it it definitely falls down. You definitely hear like a crunch, and I don't think the water is moving fast enough for it to kind of maybe maybe he's like kind of slowly, very slowly, like being kind of drifted a little bit, and then maybe gets a bit wedged. Um, into La Sur. Um, okay. And okay. I think you probably like maybe you kind of look up from the sewer and you know there's a another person kind of walking by. Can I nod at them very nonchalantly? 
Uh, you certainly can. Uh, I think they just kind of look at you. They get kind of this woman kind of looks at you and just um, instead of like acknowledging you, they kind of do that thing with the like, head down and forward and just kind of walk quickly past you. Um, <laughs> In a town of predominant humans, seeing a half orc, a, a Goliath, a, a cat man, <laughs> all just standing around this uh, open cat um, person. Cat person. Apologies. St- start standing <laughs> around this um, this people hole cover um, is um, quite an intimidating. Maybe not intimidating, but quite a odd sight for for um, the common common person. <laughs> no, not, not, not to mention the half orc <laughs> sweating profusely. Uh, yeah. Um. And d- d- Dig Dog Leo, do you want to give me a perception, please? I can give you a perception. Just one moment. Uh. Oh, bam. Hey. Cool. Um. From like, I... yeah. I forgot that. Oh, yeah, I think he's got it set to GM only. That's that's why it was a seventeen uh, for anyone who. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it was. Um, but yeah, so you you hear a faint, Bork! <gasps> um, and it's kind of coming from you. Yeah, it's it's coming from like in front of you in the alleyway. Um, and it was it was loud enough that you could. You feel like you should be able to see, like the the source, but uh, you can't see anything. There's like nothing down the alley. I'm 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 going to uh, run towards, like a full tilt where I heard the heard the bork. Okay, um, as you as you kind of like run, um, and then you kind of maybe maybe pass like a sort of like X like a cross road type thing of alleys, um, as you kind of pass that, you hear the bark again and it's coming from behind you. Is he down the fucking sewer? <laughs> uh, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> okay, well, fair enough. I'm, 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 I'm going to run backwards then. Just... Uh, and then the same thing happens. The bark is behind you. Uh, like, at, every time you pass this, like... Um, Check your hood. Cr- crossroads <laughs> mark. Uh, the bark comes from behind you. Uh, and at that, I think, Tilly, you open the door and head down. And maybe, maybe you come in and see like the finishing blow. Oh my! Of um, of Emu's on like <laughs> rally of strikes against this this poor injured man. Yeah, I think um, as Tilda like walks down, she probably is like descending the stairs very quickly because yes, the worry has increased somewhat. Hmm. Given the condition of Emu during travel, that was not ideal. No. Um, or the assault on the 14 year old, also not ideal, but you know, I never really witnessed that, so that's fine. And uh, yeah, I think as soon as, like, maybe it's the, the finishing donkey punch, as Emu described, is what you see. And then there's just that, like, that moment. I'm just like, ah, oh, thank the gods. <laughs> Because it's, you know, seeing her beat up other people is a lot better an outcome than watching a lot of people beat up her. Meh. Okay. So, yeah. I think I just have that moment of relief. Uh, yeah, and... I think the the same two guys that obviously met Emu, I guess you wouldn't know that, but, um, uh, like, come up to you and be like, business? I think, um... <laughs> Like if the if it's that kind of way where I'm at like the top like just at the bottom of the stairs, sorry, but still on a couple of steps and they both like do that thing where they turn around like bouncers to the yeah. steps where it's like business. I think I'll just like rest like a hand on each of their shoulders and just like Whew It's quite a lot of stairs there. I'm here for and then I just look at both of them. I think oh, I'm they sorry. Is, there, is there only one option? <laughs> I think they um they, they just look at you um like as soon as you say stairs one of them maybe like starts to go say something like uh and then you just like carry on. 
And then they just look at each other, look at you, and sigh, and then go, Come on in. And they give each other kind of like a weird look. Uh, not a weird look, but kind of like a confused look between them as they kind of just kind of light a path. And like bend over as if like trying to catch my breath. Like, do that thing where like I wave my hand at them, like, oh, you're 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 too kind. Thank you. Uh, oh, I left my tea upstairs. Never mind, that's gone now. Um, can I drink down here? As they're like maybe walking away. Yeah, uh, they motion to like a, a downstairs bar. Um, like maybe in the corner, there's like a like a wee corner bar thing. Like it's more just like a table with like you know drinks on it. I just say to both of them as I'm like walking back, thank you so much, there'll be something behind the bar for you both, and I'll just wander that way. And I'll try and catch Emu's eye if I can, because I am in bright orange, but if I don't, that's fine. But I will just try and be like, I am here also, hello, sneaky. Um, but it really depends on what Emu's up to at that point. Yeah. But I'm not being subtle at all, I was like very loud and out of breath, yeah. full out of breath, if I, if I could be. Um, well, you yeah. know... Oh, carry on. Well, yeah, so what was that? <laughs> no, I was just saying, yeah, carry on. I see what you were going to see, yeah. <laughs> if, I, if I saw Tilda, um, which I, I presume I, I would... I, I think it's reasonable to say that you would. The, um, the most brightly coloured... Um... Yeah. I'd probably um, explain. Ah, Min Van! Um, Madame's Tilda! I'm what? How? What a what a lovely place! Do you not think? Flash of light, and the 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 guy, um, you know, comes back. Thanks, thanks to to, to Peter. <laughs> uh, yeah, just... I think like if I've got time enough to reply to. Yeah, yeah. Anything, I'll just look around. Like, yes, it's very crowded. I would just. To the, the guy on the floor and be like, Well, one down. I just sit at the bar, I guess, on a stool and then just nod to whoever can provide a drink because in movies they never need to actually speak to them, they just get supplied with drinks. So hopefully the same carries on here. Yeah, uh, and I think the. I guess it's the, <laughs> the Bud Light of this universe. Mm. Just yeah, gets like it, put, like it just gets put in your hand. Um, I'll put money behind the bar with the bartender and say that's for the two guys at the door when they come up to the bar as well. So I'll throw a couple of coppers towards that drink as well. Yeah. Um. He he just kind of nods. Um, you never yeah. speak of Bud Light ever again, please. <laughs> and, uh, I'll I'll definitely nurse this drink. I don't intend to ever let it touch my lips. Yeah, that's fair. Um. <laughs> And uh, I'm Maggie, blending yeah. in, you see. I'm blending in. <laughs> and her like bright orange robes and yeah. <laughs> more, more of like a beacon of light in the the dinginess. Um, I'm a beacon of hope in the dark. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> I like beacon of light in the dinginess, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the session name, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, maybe it's that. Like you, you, you see them. Uh, the yeah the 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 the, the muscly guy um strong guy mm -hmm. um or not so strong guy I guess uh maybe being half dragged over to the the the, the corner to kind of sit down and his his coach guy is livid and all that happens uh so yeah um emu uh Peter do you do you, what what were you up to after kind of you know healing this this gentlemen and um as a scene unfolds you, you fell out there for me for a, for a second sorry oh apologies i was my, just my saying my connection is a bit terrible at the moment so i'm kind of here like and yeah. <laughs> no no that's, what you said, <laughs> that's heard, literally I heard, what i said I heard Peter healing something and i'm like uh, am i supposed to say something um yeah. no, i was just asking that? No, no. Yeah, once that whole sort of bit unfolds, like what, what, what are you up to now? The the guys sort of being dragged away from you now, kind of propped up in the corner, being kind of. Am I? Uh, I'm literally just gonna say, am I 
Is the, did he just fire me? And I'm, am I fired now? Uh, I'm a bit confused. I'm gonna go to the bar and get a drink, actually. Yeah, yeah. And I'll sit next to this um, beacon in the dark. Is that what you want it to be called? Because <laughs> definitely not what I wanted to be called. But yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It. It's fine. That that's literally <laughs> what it looks like. So that's what I'm gonna <laughs> sit next. <laughs> yep. I'm just. How much are the here? Like a copper. Um. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. Sorry. A yes. copper. Well, I don't really have. I think um, no. Um, well, maybe as you're kind of walking over, I think the after this guy has shouted at the, the quarter, like the 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 person who's sort of running the show, um, comes up to you with your like little little um pitiful, paycheck as it were. Oh, nice. Um, and says, <clears throat> yes, uh, you're, no longer required for the day. Uh, oh, um, all right. Um, and then I think he would put like a couple of coppers in your hand as well, and just be like, um, "Get yourself a drink on the way out." Thank you. Um, yes, I, I, I will do that. Yeah, and, and I think he just uh, toss a copper to the barkeep. Yeah, I think he definitely gives you that. Uh, as you say, I will do that. He definitely gives you that um, really false friendly smile of like, "Hmm, yes," <laughs> and then just walks away. Do I get the impression that he? Tells me to fuck off and never come back again, kind of vibe, or yeah, maybe not never come back again, but like you've definitely done like upset enough people for the day, um. Mm -hmm. So he's 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 you know, thingy, but he's not yeah. gonna just kick you out because that's bad for him, you know. Oh, okay, okay, I see. But you're definitely getting the the hints. Yes, I am taking all the hints. Do you look visibly disappointed at the bar when you approach? Probably, because I've just lost my job and I don't have mm, a lot of stuff to do now. Eh? Um, Cause like, uh, as you sit down and you're looking obviously for money, I think before you get paid I might just like hand you the beer I was given. And then oh, just, wow. just sit at you and goes, I'm mostly here for the atmosphere. And then just kind of like, look back at the crowd. Well, uh, I... I, I can provide a atmosphere, actually. I am pretty good at some instruments. Uh, quite a few instruments, actually. Um, yeah, so... Uh... There's a look of dread that just goes behind <laughs> Tilda's eyes. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm like... Ear oh, bagpipes really? in the distance. Yeah, screaming and bagpipes in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh really? And what is it you play? I'm I'm actually really good at the bagpipes, <laughs> <laughs> but I can also play many other instruments. Uh, fancy instruments. I can play uh, the flute and the lute and the drums, and uh, I'm currently learning guitar as well and uh, the violin, uh, which is what I'm currently uh, getting better at. They're not good yet, but. Uh, they will be, one day, I'm sure. Um, so yeah. Um, would you like to hear it? And like, there's is th is this place noisy because of crowds? So like, it's not it super like, crowded. It's... it's like it's, but there's enough noise going on. You know, there's um like chit chat and the, the sort of you can definitely hear like you know there's a few people like maybe arguing over, over lost bets and stuff. Um, so it's not like on at the moment as well. In the as a side note, Peter will add, uh, maybe not in here. I've uh, probably angered quite enough people in here already. So um, angered? Why is why would that be? Uh, they don't seem to be particularly happy with my uh, services. Um, yeah. What services did you provide to them, if you don't mind my inquiry? Well, I tinker a little bit in healing every once in a while. I had a <clears throat> DM, I'm going to ask for permission to have one healing potion so I don't have to blow all my healing spells on this guy. <laughs> Can I have had one healing potion on me? Um, do you know what? Sure. Nice. <laughs> and, um, I'm, don't say I'm not kind. Who were you kind. talking to just then, Peter? Uh, uh, God. Uh, almighty, <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, before, yeah. before we say track, we'll rewind back. Yep. What were you going to say? Me? Yeah. 
to oh, the part where um, you start to mention another character. <laughs> I was gonna say, um, yeah, I, I dabble in uh, healing, so I gave him a little bit of healing, just some of the potion and some of my own make. Um, yeah, so I can heal people if I want to, and inspire them. I'm also pretty good at inspiring. I can yeah. feel that from you, yes. And she just smiles kind of widely. Oh. I s blush ever so slightly. And you wish me to follow you out of this place to oh. what avail and i'm you can tell she's Only... a bit teasing right like she's clearly teasing a bit because it's like you've literally sat down she's bought you a beer and now you're like let's get out of here <laughs> yes um well um, I, um um it gets very awkward and he goes um i didn't mean anything by it at all i literally just like to play music and perform for people not in a sexual way obviously only um, um instruments strictly uh, a musical oh. instrument. Bye. Um, yeah. Um. <laughs> right, he's really love being around a lot of people. Yeah. He's literally <laughs> like, um, oh god, what have I got myself into? Um, uh, he's right. I think Tilda's just taking all this in and like trying her best not to laugh, but she's smiling just as plainly as she possibly can. Um, <laughs> thinking, where the fuck is Emu? <laughs> <laughs> Someone <laughs> fucking help me. <laughs> like, I think that would be a lovely idea. Can I have your name, please? My uh, name is yes. Tilda. Oh god, I just realized what my name is. This is not the name. <laughs> um, my name is Peter. <clears throat> Peter inside you. Um, uh, yeah. Um... She raises an eyebrow and leans back ever so slightly. <laughs> and I think she just says, white. Uh, yes, it's a, quite an unfortunate name. I haven't uh, got it changed y yet. It costs money, and I don't have a lot of money. So, yeah. I also don't see people. I'm mostly in dungeons uh, and uh, looking for it. This is going swimmingly, yes. You spend yeah, a lot yeah. of time in dungeons playing instruments for people non-sexually. Um, <laughs> yes. How very colourful, and here she um, I was the one that would stand out here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it's mostly skeletons, it's not normal people. I see. <laughs> like that that made it a lot better. D yeah. I'm, mm. Yeah, I'm not very good around people. Skeletons are different because they're not that smart. I don't have to say a whole lot, I just play. Um. <laughs> But yeah, uh, very nice to meet you. Yeah. Mm. Yes. And he kind of goes back to sipping his beer, kind of looking awkwardly around, being like, I should get out of here. Um, yeah. I look for Emu. I was going to say, what's, what's Emu doing while this exchange yeah, is, is going on? Um, pick up her, her quarter staff and then head over to, to Tilda and. Probably just sort of uh, walk up and uh, say, ah, uh, "Well, that was refreshing." Uh, by the way, the um, the gnome, uh, uh, he was here. I he put still my hand up and I'm like, Shh, "Sorry, one one moment, Emu," and then like I'll hand the drink I got for Emu from the bartender, give you a drink of whatever the the Bud Light of this world is. Um, and then, yeah. and then hand that to you and goes, I don't know, do you, do you drink that or do you, I can't remember if Emu drinks alcohol, but like. I, I would look at it and um, have a, like a, a split second consideration um, and then neck it in one. While you're in the anyway. of necking it, I, um, <laughs> I turn to uh, Peter and I was like, Peter darling. Um, have you met my friend Emu? And I, then drink I, I move Emu to where I was standing, and I stand at the other side of Emu, <laughs> and I leave them to their introductions. I, I would probably ignore Peter, to be honest, until um, he's not interested at the moment. It's just like, probably just uh, as he starts to introduce himself, just carry on and be like, the gnome, he was. 
Uh, he was here, there was some magic, and he disappeared. I, I don't know if he has gone far, he's gone to another continent, but maybe he's still around. We should... I'll, I'll check around. You get to know Peter. He's a, he's a musician. He... You... I will look around. And I... I'll walk away into the crowd like Homer Simpson, just bashing. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! And I'll try and I don't know. I'll look for anyone that might have known a gnome. <laughs> <laughs> like I want to go for the person that takes the bets. See, they put the bookie. I'll yeah, yeah. Go to that person because I want to get the names of the fighters. Yeah, I think if the if the um. If it's kind of like symmetrical, so maybe the side with like a little bar has an identical table on the other side, and that's where all the bookies mm. stuff is, yeah. and he's kind of standing there, yeah. And you got to perfect. Yeah. yeah, and I just got there and I says, "Hello there. I seem to have misplaced one of my uh, patrons of the the fighting arts. Yes, I should just watch what that'll do. Um, can you help me? It was a a gnome of some prowess who." I believe I'm just bullshitting here now. I believe frequents this fist emporium. I think he cocks his head to one side and squints at you like as like words like emporium are never brought I up. Think in... I can mimic it as well. Yeah. yeah I'll I'll um, cock to the same side. Yeah. Um and he he goes <clears throat> Only one gnome fighter in these parts. That must be them. And I look really excited at that. Yes. He is definitely probably them. Then she looks creeped out a little. But she still looks then she smiles and waits for the answer. And he um He kind of slowly looks down at his book and flicks through some pages. And goes Ah. Fighting name Max Power. Oh man. Oh god. <laughs> I cannot disclose other than that. Uh, that's more than enough. You've been so helpful. I appreciate the protection of their anonymity. And then with that I'll Homer Simpson into the crowd. Yeah. He looks <laughs> like as you say, like uh you know, if you're happy anonymity. with the anonymity he 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 just smiles, I think, and he uh -huh. just assumes that you it's mean that he's word. doing a good Don't job. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like he assumes you've just complimented him, and he's just like, hmm, yeah. yes, I do good I job. As pleasant as possible, yeah. <laughs> I didn't carry any beers over, so I was like, damn it, I should have brought my beer, but I forgot, so I wasn't going back to the bar. Uh, that I think is I'll fair. pass by those gentlemen that were like guarding the door, and I'll just let them know. Remember, behind the bar. And then just like wink each one. Um, I think I think um one of them winks back and the the other one just kind of smiles like nicely, but very, very boyishly. Um, yeah, for sure. Um, so Emu, how are you? Um, I'm I'm not sure. Um, very that, awkward. I, I would I, imagine. I've also probably not had alcohol in, like, <laughs> a long time, but I just necked this bottle. Oh, do you want to give, like, a con uh, con save or something? Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I think you stomach gone. it better than you, you thought. Like, it tastes god-awful. Um, Is this the eight you're reading, Kel? No, it tastes god-awful, but you stomach it pretty well, is what I'm saying. Oh, wait, no, wait, yes. Sorry, you rolled with advantage. I read the 17 because it was lit up. No, okay, so eight. Unless you have... <laughs> unless you have advantage on con saves for some reason. That I don't know about. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> not there to rub your belly of your advantage. <laughs> okay, you, like, it still tastes horrible. And you can feel, like, the, f like, the foam of it because you drank it so quickly, kind of sitting at the top of your stomach and you feel just a bit gross and then maybe you kind of sit down and the room starts to spin a bit and um everything seems just a little bit brighter 
It's like someone took the contrast slider and went whoop right up. And you're definitely feeling a lot more, um, you feel a bit sicky, but also quite, um, confident in yourself. For sure. Still that high from, um, winning the fight, so I, I guess, you know, it's, it's a mixed, I'm, I'm okay, but, um, um remembering why I don't drink. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, Peter, do you? Do anything or say anything? Um, well, I heard someone mention a goblin that they were looking for. Um, would you by any chance be looking for a max powers too? Is he cool? Yes. <laughs> uh, Emu just pulls out the um, the goblin hand. This this is how I, I usually deal with goblins. Luckily, uh, the Monsieur Powers is a gnome. Oh, um, well, yes, that is, that that might be true. Um, I pretty much always be skeletons, so yeah. Um, are you looking for the gnome, Max Powers, too? He owes us a substantial amount of money, and his brother uh, made some promises that you are made assurances that were unfounded. So we have some things to discuss, but I'm sure we will catch up with him eventually. Mm. Um, just a side thingy that um, Emu would have known the contact as Rob Powers. So whether whether or not. You decide that Max Powers and Rob Powers are the same person. It's... Well, Max is short for Rob, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then I suppose he... Emu would know, like, maybe Emu had to, like, when signing up for the fight, had to give, like, a fighting name um, to yeah, avoid. Cat. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um, oh so, dear. yeah, it wouldn't be, like, a huge leap to kind of guess that that we were talking about the same person yeah you may continue apologies that's fine does emu catch the connection or no yeah i think um emu would just um emu has someone's told emu that there's only two gnomes in like mm -hmm. the entire region but, <laughs> One of them should be in this town, but I just presumed that the only one is the whole Yeah. Um, jumping back into character real quick. Um, you might have seen that I handed him a, a box early, or maybe not, I, I don't know. Uh, but he also, by chance, owes me money for said box. Um, especially now that I found that this um, instrument that he said was pure gold is actually just a phone you worked with him long Sorry. yeah i was gonna say can man give me yeah it's gonna yeah you've been uh, working with him long um well it's only a s small business really um i raided a temple for him or i went through a temple uh, fought off some skeletons Play them to sleep mostly, but you don't need to know that. And I found the this box for him, and um, he owes me uh, quite a lot of money um, for Can said box. I pull out my um, maps and detailed information that I took from that library about various um, uh, rooms and points of interest in the surrounding area, and just like pop that on the, the, the bar and say. Is it one of these places that you took the, um, the um, that you did this thing for? Nope. Um, so, where um, you would have got your your little uh, temple thingy? These little X's and stuff are the X's on um, Emu's map, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, so it was this this point here. You are in this this circle down here. Okay, I thought I went south for the temple. Oh, you did go south, actually. Yeah, at this point. No, you went north now. 
I went north. Yep. Maybe you yep. went so far south that you went. North. That's it. You traveled. You you traveled <laughs> south and ended up here. Yeah. And you're like, my, the journey back to time is so much quicker than. This. <laughs> and you know what they say? It's always quicker on the way back. And in the same direction. <laughs> <laughs> he was just told south, and he went south. Oh, I see why you're older now. <laughs> yeah, it took me a while. 67 years? No, 67 years. My first ever years. quest finally complete. <laughs> <laughs> Completed. And he's still not been paid for it. Um, I think uh, see yeah. why, like, in the background, I want to have noticed that they now seem to be getting along. Yeah. So I'm not going to interrupt them. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's safer to go get the rest of the party here. So I'm going to go yeah. do that. Um, That's fine. Um, yeah. What we'll do then is we'll, we'll jump to the rest of the party. Rest of the party crew. Jump. Oh. How are we? Yeah, so bad. So I'm maybe. Um, be okay for like half a minute. Be back. Fine. Um, so yeah, maybe Dig Dog Leo, you've kind of like the 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 barking's kind of stopped, um, as you've been like walking back and forth, maybe running. I don't know how desperate you are to. to... I'm very desperate to find my dog. Yeah, um, it's kind of stopped, and you can't really find any trace of um okay. of Borkers, um. Uh, Gorm, what 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 are you up to? Did you do you did you um pick up the keys off the 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 guy and? It. Yeah, that's fine. I picked up keys and I memorized his face and body features. And I would like to look at Alvik and then the hole and gesture to the hole. I'm just going to sort of look around and notice that nobody else, everybody else is just pissed off. And I'm saying, where is everybody? Uh, and then, like, I don't know, I maybe notice where, which way Thea went. Um, not Thea, <laughs> Tilda. <laughs> which way Tilda went, and I'm just like, oh, we better go get the rest. And then I start walking off towards where Tilda went. Okay, um, Gorman, Dig Dog, Leo, you kind of see all Vic explain, explain this, exclaim this, and just start walking off. Um... Take it, you want your dog. I want my dog. Is there any, is there any public people I can say? Have you seen a dog? Small, looks retarded. Um, as uh, as the that thought of man, I wish there was someone I could just ask. Um, walks by this uh this kind of short um short man just kind of walks past um maybe down like the the, the cross of the alley, um kind of stops, looks down the alley, sees. This weird mis mishmash of of not human people uh, and starts to maybe hurriedly go the opposite direction of you. Can I scream in his sir, mind? Sir, sir, sir! Uh, <laughs> as I run towards him, he pretends he has headphones in. Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> he yeah he turns around and goes um hi. Uh, and uh, hi sorry, Gorm, what what were you about to say as well? Can I scream in his mind? No, you cannot. <laughs> <laughs> He's too far away. Um, he's probably not actually, but uh, we'll see. We'll resolve Dig Dog Leo first. Dig Dog Leo, there you go, sir. Ah, yeah. Hi, 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 sir. Very sorry to bother you, but uh, I, I don't suppose you've perhaps seen a dog roaming these streets, unaccompanied. I think um, he he looks at you and goes, uh, "Can't can't say that I have." Um, Mister, and just kind of looks at you. Your kind of half orcish figure. Um, not sure what to make of you. Um, and maybe he kind of then like looks further and sees Ovek disappearing into the like walking down past an alleyway, and he's like, um, maybe he says out loud, oh "My God, they're everywhere." No, oh, give a whore. We're just not humans. Coming in here and taking our jobs? Yeah. Is he, is he being racist? <laughs> Are you racist now, father? <laughs> Good for <Ooh>. you! <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I think he does. I think he's and maybe he says that under his breath. Um, oh, taking the job so easily. That's what happened in the, well, the other time. Yeah. Our jobs. You're gonna do it. Um, do I hear him saying taking our jobs? Um. You know what? Yes. Why not? Okay. Well, in that case, I'm, I'm going to cut him off. I'd say, taking your jobs. Fuck that! You people are taking my dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, oh, um, I've not seen any dogs in these parts, sir. Well, Good keep an eye out. For one. It's small. It's black. It looks retarded. <laughs> I think we had the one dog in the region. Uh, well, like. yes. I think uh, he maybe walks past you and goes good day, and as you say that, like um, the dog does. No, yeah, yes. The, no, the man uh, walks past. You know, as as you say, you know, what did you say? Black, the a little bit retarded. Yeah. Um, and he, I think he goes <laughs> like owner, like pup. Can't jump with this bastard. Um. No, I we mean, only killed one person. No, no, we don't need to kill another person. No, that I, I take it back. Okay, I was gonna say I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> also, not to be that guy, unfortunately, but but as your friendly GM, think we have killed one person. That person died accidentally. That's so true. Still got our quota of one person because we're so. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> right. <laughs> I will take this encouragement. <laughs> to the grave. No. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Um, uh, he walks uh, past you and like he's just walking, maybe walking towards Gorm. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to throw a javelin with the intent to scare, but if I roll well on this, he's dead. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, so right, if you're rolling with the intent to scare, what I'll do is we'll like invert his AC. If you don't hit him, you hit him. Oh Christ! All right. Uh, couldn't you just roll intimidate? Couldn't it could roll intimidate. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know, but, but I, 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 I wouldn't mind a bit of blood. See, <laughs> I was with everybody today. Right? <sighs> There's something in the air. It's like you last week. <laughs> okay, right. No, not not raging on this one here. Uh... <laughs> she screams and rips him into. That was her warning shot. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, ah, god damn it! Okay, so, to be fair, that does probably miss the guy, right? And thus the intimidation would be valid because the guy doesn't die, right? It's inverted AC. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I regret the words that came out of my mouth. Uh, and as GM and Overlord of all, uh, I am going to uh, wreck on that. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that the javelin kind of swings past. Maybe, maybe narrow, like going in between, like the it kind of passes the the guy's head and then passes Gorm's head and sticks into like a wooden like board uh, on a maybe a wooden like boarded up window or something. <laughs> yeah, there's like the boing, 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 boing. um, and the guy kind of just stops in his track. Um, no, I think. Maybe Gorm, you see this. Um, his his face just goes like proper white, and he like loses all expression. Um, and his eyes are wide, and he just stands still and stiff. Yeah. Scream into his mind. Can I uh, oh, put a thought in his head that he should probably apologize and leave? You can say that into his mind if you wish. Yes. Is he gonna freak out? <laughs> we shall see. Oh God. Um. So yeah, is that what, what? What are the exact words that you use? Uh, trying to, I probably just say, it's probably in your best interest to apologize quickly and profusely, and to hop, skip, and add them out of here. I think, uh, yeah, I think his mouth, like, opens, um, and you initially hear, uh, 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 and then he turns around, like, does a 180 really quickly, looks at Dig Dog Leo and goes, I'm very sorry, sir, and just bolts. He See, with another javelin in my hand prepared. 
<laughs> Maybe as you're drawing the other dra dra javelin, uh, he, uh, he he's apologizing, and then he like he sees you like put the fully pull out the javelin, and he just runs away. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> cool. Um. So maybe Ovek and Tilda kind of meet up halfway along the the road, and um, realizing the other two aren't with Ovek. So when you say halfway up the road, is where in relation to where I left them? So are we near that non-binary cover hole? Um. Let's say. You've yeah um maybe maybe yes maybe Ovex kind of just turned the corner to like where you you turned to like head back to like the the sort of main entrance part and then down southward um to the the, the place um and like you're just coming like he's just halfway down the yeah the so street I, towards I that part I'll just yeah. kind of smile towards him and be like. Ovek, your solitude really disturbs me. Where are the others? I thought they were following me. Uh, yeah. And I think the the two of you probably hear maybe maybe the shout of of, of a man. Um, no, no. The doing. Still flashbacks. <laughs> right? Horrible flashbacks to last week. <laughs> Ah, it's one of those things where I've reset the encounter because I went to the place with Emu again. So every time I leave, there's a scream in the distance from a man <laughs> about to die. <laughs> um, and no, I, I think I think you, you you kind of hear like shouting, um, maybe sort of distinct of, "What are you doing?" Um, uh, like from where those guys are. Yeah, I'll swiftly move past Ovek and quickly like touch him on the arm and be like, "We should best." Swiftly go. I sort of covers. turn and to follow, but also just sort of point back at where he came from and said, "Or uh, emu." Uh, yes. Could you? I and mean, then I think I just stopped for a like a split second, thinking, "Where, where am I even suggesting Ovek goes?" Uh Yes, yeah, send Ovek to the fight club. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the thing I don't want to happen. Um, <laughs> it's like, all right, please follow me. Take the group to Emu, and just give you a thumbs up, and then run at, like towards the, the shouting because I'm assuming it's them. Because we seem to make people shout in this town. Yes, I just um, say okay. Nice grammar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> grammar is obviously a, a dwarven word. Um. <laughs> this this the uh, this dwarf fox by and goes oh thanks, um, <laughs> very odd because uh, um, the only dwarf in the realm apparently hands him the word he vanishes again. <laughs> oh blue 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 blue. Um yeah so uh, Garmin Digdoglio uh, you you see a uh, a kind of town's guard but wearing the same armor that was that the. You know the, the the sort of fake guards were, um, before uh, kind of running up over to you and going, "Oh, what's going on here?" With the maybe maybe Dig Doglio, you've reached over to try and collect your javelin out this this boarded up window. As this as this guard kind of approaches the two of you. Dig Dog's AFK right now. Um, oh, okay, so. that's fine. Um, Gorm then. <laughs> Uh, can I have an open arm gesture? Just uh, Whoa! the the weirdest thing just happened. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the the guard looks at you Why like I... maybe maybe from where he was when he shouted initially, like he maybe couldn't see you that well, and he's now come up close and he looks looks at you like the, the cat man and the half orc. It's like um. Hey. Um... Uh, the weirdest, a, we, weirdest thing. Um, <clears throat> can I have a, a a very concerned look on my face and point to the manhole and say there was this this strange goblin creature and it it it, 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 it tried to throw a javelin at this man. This this is unfortunate, racist bastard. I I mean terrible person, a nice person that was. 
just minding his own business and that's where the manhole cover is open because he, he hopped down there you should check it out there's a corpse down there <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, I th I think yep. he just stares at you, and he's like, uh, uh, and I think he closes his eyes because you know he might be getting like sensory overload from a cat person <laughs> telling him something weird has happened. Goblins, yeah, just, like, nose, yeah. yeah, goblins have shown up and have opened a manhole cover and jumped down and <laughs> threw a javelin at some man and, uh, yeah, he's 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 very um. You can probably see him starting to struggle with the belief of this reality. Um, so are we, buddy. So yeah. Could I, uh, can you... very calmly, with obviously outstretched hands, approach him and place a, a hand on his shoulder and Don't say, paw. paw, paw on his shoulder. Just say, we've all had a very tough few days. I think you should get some rest, brother. <laughs> Um, I think he he audibly just sighs and still eyes closed just turns around and then just starts to kind of maybe sort of like dreamedly walk away um, and I think you can probably hear it under his breath going not today not not today and he just walks off in the distance he does not fall Never down the manhole again. cover, by the way. He does not fall down the manhole. Um, FYI. And then, I guess, uh, Tilda and Ovek show up. Just passing this, like, disillusioned-looking guard. Yeah, as there. he's, like, he's just shaking his head, going, not, not today. Not, not, not today. I'm going to say, <laughs> there's, there's, all, there's always tomorrow. You know, I say pleasantly as I'm... Walking by, making small talk. Yeah, I think maybe as 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 you say that, like um, as he like kind of walks further, and he goes, "Yes, tomorrow, maybe tomorrow." Olivek tries to smile, but it's more like a grimace. I don't think he even like notices, like like sees you. He just kind of like his head's like down, looking at his feet, like as he's walking forward. Um, so I, I don't do, think he. Do we see them? You do. You see Digdoglio and Gorm standing there. Maybe Digdoglio's just, like, maybe pulling the javelin out of the, the boarded-up window. The weirdest thing just happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, you wouldn't get what just happened here. Someone was racist to me. <laughs> there is very... It. Okay, I'll try and put my hand up. There is very little time to explain. But we should go this way. Very quickly. Okay. All right, then... <laughs> no further questions. <laughs> yep, happy, very happy with no further questions. Yep, uh, and yeah, what we'll do is we'll I, take I'd a... just like to mention the goblin man sewer. You saw that, well, didn't you? I mean, technically, I was the only one that saw that. Okay. <laughs> well, but, I'm I, the to get down the sewer. but like, but like, that's fine. I mostly just said it's a good place to put the body. <laughs> <laughs> then Dixie went, let's jump on it to make sure it fit. He, he, he got stuck! At least we didn't slice it up. This is um, true. So, is. yes, what we'll do is we'll we'll take ten there. Okay. Um, and we will we'll fade back in while, with everyone in the same place. Yes. The sewer, um, right? The sewer, okay. no. Um, yeah, well, we'll fade back in with the party all together. Um, <laughs> be that at the fight club or otherwise. Um, he's not sliced up, he's just bent all different directions now. <laughs> <laughs>